Hey, you guys. So today we're going to talk about the differences between the 11 Pro Max iPhone and the iPhone 13 Pro Max because I just recently upgraded because I needed more memory to, you know, run my businesses, do some vlogs, take more pictures. So I had the 11 Pro Max for about two or three years. And I even traded it in for a brand new one instead of getting the 12 because I learned that there was really no difference between the 11 Pro Max and the 12, especially as far as the camera. There were some, you know, small differences, but as far as the camera, there was no reason to upgrade. So that was a small little insider tip that I got when I was at the Apple store when I was changing uh, phones. So do you guys know which one is the 11 Pro Max and which one is the 13 Pro Max? be easy to tell and I know that usually people don't review phones with the case on but guess what when I first got this phone the first night I dropped it and that's why it has cracks in the back and I'm just like really iffy about taking the cases off of these phones because it's a trap okay so this is the 11 Pro Max in my hand and I noticed that there were some changes uh, in the camera settings um, from the 11 Pro Max to this nifty iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay, let's go to the camera. Excuse me, you guys. And let's see what differences we have in the camera. Already you can see that the screens are not the same. You see that? Got this little ticker right here. And um, as far as physical, they look the same, but I found out that the 13 Pro Max is made out of aluminum. I think this is just glass and maybe it's the same as steel. But baby, everything is fragile. Everything is fragile. So I'm happy with my upgrade purchase. Let's go through it and see what we have here. So that's standard. Oh, that's the contrast. It's right there in the phone. They don't have that and the uh, 11 Pro Max. And then, see, that's right up there. Get rid of, get rid of that, changing tones. And let's see, does that one have that? Yeah, that one has that. I see that, I just don't see that. And I see a timer thing over there. Where's the timer on this camera? Hmm. You know the timer thing? Where is that on the 13? Oh, it's over. It's over, you guys. It's, you have to slide because they have even more features in the camera, as you can see. I'm doing this outside in the garage just because I know everybody does them at a table in a nice and clean space. And so, you can see the different textures and colors and stuff that it's providing. Um, as far as the layout of the phone, let's see here. Let's see if there's really any difference you guys think. This one has been reset. So, are there any differences? But you can see. I haven't done a, a comparison either, you guys. But I noticed that they don't give you... When I bought this phone, I got the power bank, which is the back part of the phone. 
uh, that go, the back part of the uh, charger. It you see how big this is. Let's, let's look at the. Let's see. Uh, yeah, eleven. Eleven on the eleven box. And yeah, that's back when they used to give you probably the headphones, the charger, and the cord. You guys remember that? Now they're telling you some excuse about, oh, we're saving packaging. We're only going to give you back. We're only going to give you the cord. I have another um, case in here for a waterproof case for the iPhone that I'm going to use. So this is the 11 box here. And I only had 64 gigabytes in the 11 Pro Max, and I went up to a 512. And as far as memory, as you can see, the 13 Pro Max box is a lot slimmer because they're not giving you what they used to for your money. But if you look at these phones, Look at that. And that's just a little crack right there, but it doesn't affect the camera at all. I told you guys I dropped it. They both have on about the same. Put them down. Because that's too close. They got it. that I'm upgrading and we still have use for the 11 Pro Max. They won't give you anything as far as the trade-in value if you have any cracks on the phone. So if you have cracks on your phone, you might as well just go get it fixed. Don't tell them you got it fixed and trade it in if you want to get some money off. You, I guess you'll get less money off because you had to spend some money to fix the screen. So in the end, you'll probably have spent some money to make some money. But you know how stuff goes. You just have to try to figure stuff out. But I have upgraded for vlogging. And I'm just like, what could the 14 possibly have, you guys? I don't know. We'll see. Let's stay tuned. Because from now on, I'm going to be vlogging someday. And I have been. But right now, I'm vlogging these two phones for my iPhone 10. So don't let them take care. <laughs>